point, Tom Lewis has the night off. A Parker mom me. now walks her kids to school after being district schools and in courtesy bus rides for students who live within two miles of their campus. While she doesn't mind the walk, she's worried for the safety of her children due to the current condition of the sidewalks or lack thereof. As News 13's Thomas Schultz reports, she hopes something can be done to make their new commute safer. Every morning, Venus Harris wakes her children up and prepares them for school. But now, instead of sending them to the bus stop, she walks her three elementary age students over a mile to Parker Elementary School. Along their route, Harris and her children must walk around a closed off bridge right next to a highway. We need an engineer to come out and do what they need to do so that our children get to school properly and we don't have to worry about them getting hit by the car. And on early mornings when it's flooding, these ditches fill up, the already cracked sidewalks become unwalkable, and children are forced to walk alongside a highway. Parker Mayor Andrew Kelly says that the city plans to fix this footbridge, but first officials must receive a permit from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Then that permit is sent to Anchor Engineering, who has to approve the permit for repairs to begin. But Harris thinks a child might be hit by a car before anything changes. Definitely an accident can occur. I feel that if my children don't continue to walk without these sidewalks and continue to walk past that water plant, somebody's going to be hit. And I don't want to be one of mine. I don't want to be anybody's child. Be She'd also like to see a crosswalk with a pedestrian signal placed at the intersection of Highway 22A, also known as Bob Little Road, in Cherry Street. She and her children have to cross this area twice on their way to school. The Florida Department of Transportation would be responsible for that. Officials say right now there is no plan to address that issue. I'm trying to see some sidewalks. It's a lot of children, a lot of people walk around here. We need some sidewalks, street, better street lights, and we need um, these plants to not be flooded. With Florida money. Department of Transportation officials say that the Bay County Transportation Planning Organization would have to prioritize sidewalks and walk signs at the intersection for the state to fix the problem. In Parker, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Van Andel Strong.